Hey everyone, Chuck here, and welcome to our channel. Today, Kelly and I are gonna show you one of the most amazing holiday attractions in the world. It's the Knights of Lights in St. Augustine, Florida. This winter festival transforms the historic downtown into a dazzling display of over three million lights. It is so beautiful and magical that the National Geographic chose it as one of the 10 most dazzling holiday lighting displays in the world. So let's go check this out. Hey, well, we made it up to St. Augustine. It was about a two and a half hour trip for us. And we just had lunch here at the Columbia restaurant. So we're just gonna hang out the rest of the day and uh, wait for it to get dark and see the, um, the Nights of Lights Winter Festival. All right, well, it is just about nighttime and uh, they got the lights all turned on. So we're gonna start our tour of Nights of Lights here in St. Augustine at the Plaza de la Constitucion. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. So uh, we're here in the park. We're gonna get some shots of the lights here. Then we're gonna make our way down to um, along the, I think it's A1A. Then we're just gonna make our way down along the historic part of downtown and catch the lights. So uh, here we go. Well, they got the Bridge of Lions all lit up. Some of the boats out here have decorated all up for the holiday festival. We're over here on the east side of A1A. Gonna walk down along the waterfront here and uh, check out the lights that are decorated all along the different businesses and things along A1A. We got Santa uh, pulling the sleigh tonight. Well, everything is lit up real nice around here. All the businesses have their lights out. Everything's lit up. A lot of people out on the street tonight admiring the beauty of the lights. So we're walking in the uh, middle of the historic area. Now they're not lit up as much down in this area as it is along the periphery of the historic district. But we're gonna make our way down to uh, Flagler College and the Leitner Museum. We understand those are supposed to be lit up pretty nice. So we're just gonna make our way through this crowd of people and uh, see if we can find some more lights that make up this Nights of Lights um, festival. So we're over here at the Leitner Museum and they're all lit up pretty well tonight. What do you think, love? What? Looks good. It's pretty. It is pretty. It did a good job. So over here across the street is Flagler College. And they got their buildings lit up. We're gonna walk down along the side, make our way back down, see what else we can find. Well, they do have a lot of the city lit up. Little disappointed though, from the hype, you know, on the websites and all, I was expecting something maybe a little bit more, but it was still nice. One thing I did notice is that I don't think I've see in, seen any nativity scenes out here in the city. 
Yeah, just the one over by, right, just the one over by the church, just a small one. It wasn't lit up or anything, but, uh, you know, sort of disappointing because that's really what Christmas is all about. It's not about the lights and the gifts. It's really about the greatest gift that was ever given, and that was the gift of Jesus Christ and His salvation that He brought to the world. But we had a, a nice day here in St. Augustine. We're going to walk around just a little bit more, and then we're probably going to make our way back home. But we'll see if we can catch a few more lights while we're here and just enjoy a beautiful evening out. So we stopped in here at Auntie Anne's Cinnabons to check these out. I think we're going to have to get a little snack for our trip on the way home. And then it says on the sign out front also they've got some hot chocolate. So what do you think? Found anything you like yet? All of it. All of it? I know it. Look at that. Look at that. That there is just pounds waiting to be put on. It looks delicious. And I like these little ones right here. The bun bites. Those are really nice. I don't know, we're gonna we're gonna get something and then we'll make our way back on around the town. Alright, we're gonna take a look at these. I can get them out, these bond bites. Those look delicious. Alright, let's try it. See how they are. Mm. Just a mini cinnamon bun. Those are good. And I got a little cup of hot chocolate here somewhere. So I'm going to sit and enjoy my hot chocolate and enjoy my cinnamon buns. I think Kelly decided she's going to hold off on hers for a little bit. But um, yeah, really good. Got the musicians out tonight doing some picking. This guy's jamming on his banjo. <laughs> so, how much are they? They're 25. 25? Mm -hmm. And do they turn off and on and so forth? They're okay. also double A batteries. Double A batteries in it? Uh, let me see. See what how much cash got on me. Let me just pick up we one. Cash or okay. All right, and we have purple, red, green, or blue. Oh, let's do a red. Red one. So how much are they? It's twenty-five. How much? Twenty-five. Don't. And then I don't have change with me. You can, uh, you can just keep the change. Thank you. All right. Have a merry Christmas. Song, shall we dance? <laughs> I don't know, this must be maybe like a high school or college band, I'm not sure. Orchestra, I should say. We're doing a good job. So that was a little sneak peek of the Knights of Lights in St. Augustine, Florida, and we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you've ever been to St. Augustine or you've seen the Knights of Lights, please leave us a comment. We'd love to know what you think. And if you're new to our channel, we would love to have you. So please subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified each time we produce new content. 
also want to take the time to just wish all of our followers a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in this coming 2024 New Year. We're looking forward to the new year. We hope to be able to produce a lot more content for you. And we're just looking forward to the things God is going to do in our lives in the new year. So again, just want to take this time to wish you and your families a very Merry Christmas. And remember, Jesus truly is the reason for the season. See, it was God who was born of a virgin and took on flesh. And that's what we celebrate this holiday season as we celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. So again, may your travels be safe. May your paths be lined with the beauty and splendor of God's creation. And may the people you meet along your journey be blessed and encouraged because of you. God bless.